Tenakoto Tomirikima, it's Mr. Gooden here. We're going to read about masks today. Given the fact we're in uh, this situation, I thought it'd be a good idea to read about masks and how different cultures over time have um, worn masks and why they've worn them. Let's get into it. All about masks. Masks are covers that people wear over their faces. Some masks only cover part of their face, but other masks cover all of the face. Many masks have small holes at each side with strings tied into them. People place the masks over their faces and tie the strings into a bow behind their heads. The masks do not fall off when people move around. Why masks are worn. Sometimes people wear masks to hide their faces in a play or a parade. They wear the masks because they are pretending to be someone else. People wear masks for fun. At parties or fairs too. The masks are very colourful. Some people wear masks to protect their faces and to keep themselves safe. Doctors and dentists wear face masks so they do not spread germs to their patients. Masks are often worn by rescue workers. Sometimes they have to help people who have been in an accident and there is a lot of dust or smoke in the air. The masks help to stop rescue workers from breathing in the dust and smoke. Some people who play sport wear masks. Masks can protect their face and teeth in games such as softball and ice hockey. Masks from all over the world. Masks have been worn from all over the world for thousands of years. The first masks were made from animal skins and clay and paper. Many masks made years ago were the same shape, but they did not always look the same because animal teeth, hair, bones, paint, shells and feathers were put on them too. Many masks were used by groups of dancers in their villages. The dancers used the masks to tell stories about people and their families who had lived in years gone by. Today, many masks are made from leather, metal, cloth and plastic. Dancers use masks to tell stories about people from long ago. Masks worn on stage. Long, long ago, people wore masks when they were in a play on the stage. Each actor would pretend to be someone else. Today, people still wear masks to hide their faces in plays and in movies and television shows. Chinese masks. In many countries, there are huge parades for the Chinese New Year. At this time, many people wear masks and have lots of bright colours. People think red is a really lucky colour, so many people wear masks that have red decorations. Japanese masks. Some Japanese plays, actors dress in beautiful clothes when they are on the, on the stage. All the actors in the play are men, so sometimes a man has to wear a mask and pretend to be a woman. Japanese actors sometimes wear masks and dress in beautiful clothes. Japanese masks are very plain. They are made from wood and have holes for the eyes, nose and mouth. The masks are sometimes painted in bright colours. The men who wear these masks must be very clever actors. They have to help the people who are watching the play understand the story. Inuit masks. Inuit people from Greenland, Canada and the United States of America wear their masks too. Their masks are often worn during parades when lots of people tell stories and sing songs. Inuit people are made, masks are made from wood, animal skins, bones and feathers. People sometimes use metal tools to make patterns on the mask. Masks then and now. Masks have been worn by people all around the world. They are worn by dancers and actors to tell stories of long ago. Today, many people have to wear masks for their work or when playing sport or to protect themselves from danger. People like to wear masks at parades and parties too. Doctors wear masks and baseball players and builders wear masks to protect their faces. And here we have a glossary just before we finish the video. So we've got the glossary of accident, actors, patients, plain and pretend. And if you pause the video, it gives you the meaning. Well, we're time for activities now, uh, which will be in the link down below. Kakitiano.